Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, Jim Howard, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's July 14th of 2022. Uh, I received, well, this is a box fort. Oops, I guess this is, this is the box fort speaker system. It was regular prices, I think like $15 in it was a couple of dollars off because of Amazon Prime or whatever. Uh, it's a Linru computer speaker, A39 Pro. It says 360 surround. <laughs> it says high fi sound. And but what I liked uh, about it, you know, from what I saw on Amazon, was it its small size and it plugs into uh, USB and of course it has, which I really don't care about the lights, you know, and the, but they're, oh, I didn't know from the, until I got it, but the lights are uh, kind of dim, they're not intrusive or whatever, so that, that was fine, but it has a switch also, as I like, which, uh, you know, you could turn the lights off. Uh, also, okay, I said it, you know, plugs into uh, USB, and I like the way the cable is, uh, you know, strung out. And so you can plug in to power it, and then it has uh, two jacks that you can use. So uh, I'm not much for audio, and for, I have. I've, I've had hearing loss since first grade, never treated. Um, and I can't blame my parents. I, I didn't, you know, when I got to working age or whatever and was working, I was, you know, making pretty good money as a welder and, you know, uh, had insurance and everything. Um, so I, I mean, can't blame them. I never had it, my hearing checked or anything taken care of and it was a problem. Um, so, uh, I like the, the uh, cable arrangements on the end because this other one that I don't think you, I think you can see it sitting there. I'm not going to drag it over here, but at the at the end of its cables, it was you know two of them are like kind of tied together, and it was kind of like hey, I want to plug it in over here, and then I want to plug this in over there. And This was arranged better. I like that. So, I got it, and I plugged it in. And uh, actually, I didn't plug it into my uh, Windows computer because I have some speakers there that are, you know, doing okay. And I've had the uh, speakers a long time. But this was for my other setup over here, which I just removed the Chrome and put it in the closet again. I took it out the other day and hooked it up and put it in the closet again today. Uh, but anyway, I plugged these speakers in and they really suck. And I'm not usually somebody who I can't really, not a good judge of audio and that type of thing, but it, they suck. I mean, I was willing to, uh, willing to use this even though the audio was, you know, because I don't listen to a lot of music and that type of thing. But I, um, took my chrome box and, uh, put it back in the closet. So, um, I don't know how many years ago, quite a few years ago, we did it. We we actually were cord cutters, you know. We, uh, the cable company, they had 
you know, I was paying about $150 a month for cable television. And my ex-wife who lived next door at that time, she was paying about the same, maybe a little bit more, which she doesn't like to spend money, but even for just cable, you know. And anyway, a few years back, we moved in together with my grown son, and we all pitch in together. And of course, so we're paying, you know, we're not paying like double everything. We're not paying two rents. We're not paying two electric bills. We're not paying, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, helps out financially. In fact, this is about the only way we probably survive now with the way everything's going up in price. But one thing that's kind of bugged me uh, is that from the living room all the way down the hallway and into this room, the coaxial cable from the cable uh, TV people. And, you know, of course, it's not used. We don't need it. And uh, so finally today I thought, I'm just going to, you know, remove it. And I could, you know, pry off the little prongy things that kind of hold it to the wall and I might do that but I thought I'll just I'll just cut it I looked at my little toolbox and I don't have any I have a couple of the things for cutting ties I use ties a lot to tie my cables together but they're not big enough to uh, cut the coaxial cable so I'm going to order this uh, thing you can see on the screen it's Next time I place an order, it's only thirteen, you know, thirteen dollars. Get it, and uh, I'm going to go through and remove that cable. Every time I sort of see it, I mean, you, you, things like that, you kind of you don't see them, you know, in a way. But every time I see it, for some reason, it just makes me think back to how the cable people, you know screwed everybody and they're, they're still doing it I'm sure um, and I'm not sure we ever have a chance of you know of winning I'm not sure we can uh, not sure we can win this fight so the project for today oh by the way I'm going to I know I have a little video that was made when I was at Kohl's. Uh, when I sent back a, a thing to you, to uh, Amazon, um, and I took it out there because you could just take it, and you did. In fact, that you you weren't to take it in a just in the box that it came with, but not in the shipping box. You didn't have to ship it. You just took it to them. I wouldn't do that again though because. They took the entire amount. You know, normally I would, when I return something to Amazon or whatever, uh, I forget how it works, but whether it's UPS or uh, FedEx or, but, you know, one, you'll print out the thing, put the label, and then you can notify, or they'll come by with uh, a label and you just hand them, of course, you have to the box, you know, and they, they have the label, you know, and they bring it and they put it on. And almost immediately, sometimes I think the same day, they pick up the thing, they scan it, and I get a refund. Maybe it's the next day. I think it's. I think I've had it happen that day. The driver takes it, and maybe later that night, I get it. But with when it went to Coles, there it took the maximum amount of time, and it was it wasn't a large amount of money. But it was a uh, pain in the butt. I didn't like that. I like the other way where you get your, you know, of course, I don't have them send me money. It goes into, you know, the uh, Amazon, whatever they call that, reserve area or whatever, you know. Um, so, um, how did I get on that subject? Well, of course, like this thing here, you know, I'm not going to send it back. 
I'll just put it in the closet and something will come up one of these days where I, I have a whole bunch of speakers, systems, uh, a whole bunch of them. I should stack them on the desk here sometime and show them to you, you know, like this, you know. It's also an AM, FM radio and it's waterproof and the whole thing. And I forget the, um, and I have another one of something like this that's uh, more like, you know, the, the thing. And it, it's nice. I can't remember the thing with, maybe both of them do that. And that's, what happens is, uh, it times out. So, and, and you wouldn't think that it would matter, but it does. You know, so I have it hooked to the computer, and uh, I uh, stop watching the YouTube video or something, and I'm not listening to any. There's no audio coming. I'm not listening to them. I'm just here doing some doing something else, and the uh, thing will time out, and that's a pain. And then when it does kick in, now one of them actually times out and I have to go restart, you know, turn it on. And one of these uh, times out and then when the audio does start up again, say I stop, you know, the thing, the YouTube video or something, and then I forget how long it, it, it takes a while, but then it times out. And so then when the audio does start, there is a slight delay and it's noticeable. It, you wouldn't think it matters, you know, if if you mention, you know, if it's a sentence that starts with the and you don't get the, you know, or you don't get the first, you know, but it does, it, it bugs me, maybe uh, maybe not everybody. So, so I'll keep this thing and put it, uh, put it in my closet, Bimber McGee's closet. Uh, that shows how old I am. Yeah, you young whippersnappers, you, you missed out on radio. Uh, so anyway, I'll order this when I get a chance. And then I'm going to take that cable and get rid of it. Maybe I should just take my pliers and I can pull those staple type things out and I maybe do it that way. I'm still going to order this just so I'll have it. I've got, uh, I should have ordered, by the way, uh, for Amazon Prime Day, there was, I have two desks. They're the same. Super easy to put together. You know, it's a top, well, it's not a desk, it's just like a table. But for me, it's a desk. It's a top, and then you just, you know, I just, and I have arthritis or whatever, I just turn it over on my, on my bed, and just set the things in, put the screws in, and boom, that's it. Super fast, no problem. Uh, and so I've been thinking I want to get another one of these and put it over there and one thing I could set my tools on it and also you've probably noticed I'm sure I've mentioned it many times that if I'm looking for a cable, an adapter or anything I have to dig through everything and everything gets tossed on my bed because that's the only place I can put it and then I when I want to take a nap or something, I have to put it all back. And I thought, well, if I had another, you know, I'd put it over there. I'd probably set another computer on one end of it or something, because uh, that's what I do. But I could also put my tools over there and, I, you know, that type of stuff. And when I get stuff out looking for it, I could put it there. And it, then it wouldn't matter if I didn't put it away right away. But when it's on my bed, you know, I, I need to go to bed. I need my naps, you young whippersnappers, I tell you. Um, anyway, there's going to be a video coming up of when I went to Kohl's, and I videoed a little bit in their store. Looks like a nice store. Maybe the first time I've ever been to one of those. And they had a lot of employees. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you'll notice it or not, I didn't notice it until I got home and I looked at the video that I made in the store. It's very short, but um, they have robotic uh, 
carriers, you know, that are loaded up with stuff, and I guess they're sent out to go to either go down the aisles all the time or to go to a certain area or something like that. I had one coming up behind me, and I didn't know it. And then I make a little joke also about some things. I have to tell you the joke, or you're going to think I'm a transvestite or something. So I have to tell you that I'm kidding. You know, it's all this. Oh. And then I think I have another video that I made today. And I think I made, I did, I made it on my uh, Motorola stylus. And I, I don't use, you know, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, anyway, this is my Pixel. And, uh, Outside is Pixel 4a with the sunlight. Actually, I was standing in the shadows outside today, this morning, and the uh, the screen is not very bright. And this was in the shadows. If I'd have been in the sunlight, you know, I would be worthless. Uh, wait a minute. What did I say? No, this is my Pixel, and outdoors it works great in bright sunlight and everything else. It's my uh, other cell phone. The uh, yeah, the other cell phone, the uh, Motorola with uh, pixels. It's over on the the bed, I think, behind me. But it, it's very hard to see. So anyway, uh, so there's possibly there'll be maybe one video and uh, maybe two little videos attached to this video. So. Just wanted you to be aware. Thank you very much. Okay. I, Hillary just drove me up here to uh, take that cell phone and return it. Coles has a, uh, a uh, thing where you just bring it and hand it to them, basically. And they, you know, I didn't have to wrap it or uh, do anything. So... I guess I'll have to uh, check out a bra or two for myself here. Which colors do you like best? I think we're just sort of looking. Oh, okay. Thank you very much.